Yo, what's good? I'm Mark Anthony here with B Stars today for the Inside Track, breaking down Reaper off the Fast 10 soundtrack. Let's go. So context is important. Uh, back in 2022 of January, me and Tron uh, recorded that song. Uh, just another one of those days, just pulling up, uh, cooking up some songs. And I want to say in December of that year, we heard something about it. And context is important because when you hear his lyrics about the fake ID that say like Dominic and the car references, like this was all before we knew anything about the soundtrack. A couple months after that, uh, shout out to Davo. Uh, he reached out to me about uh, getting the stems and everything handled on that part. Then a few months after that, like I heard from uh, Kyle from B-Stars, getting everything figured out on the business side. So about a year and four months of getting this handled. After that, like I found out that Babyface Ray and PZ was gonna be on it as well. So it turned from just being a big win for us to a big win for Detroit. I think this move was a big way to just continue to kick the door down and show people that we here. So I started making beats back in 2016. Uh, I remember I was over at some of my friend's house and they had FL Studio on their laptop. And I always had this mindset with music that you just had to have a bunch of equipment or you had to be in a big studio to make music. And once I saw that they had that on their laptop, I was like, this is all you need to really make music. And I kind of just ran with it. Since making beats, I also picked up engineering as well and had the chance to work with some of the top artists in Michigan, like Babytron, uh, I Swear Bezo, PZ, Rio de Young OG, RMC Mike. I've also worked with a few artists outside of Michigan, uh, Rico Nasty, uh, Du Bois, Mr. Fab. I think what was important about me learning how to engineer is that it allowed me to be in a space with these artists. And since I, I got beats, it was kind of like a two for one situation. Like you're in the room, you're being able to work with these artists and record them. And you can also provide them with the beats that they need as well. Once I found out that the song was going to be featured on the Fast 10 soundtrack, uh, it was an amazing feeling. Uh, I've been watching Fast and Furious movies since I was a kid, so seeing my name amongst those other talented people that was a part of it as well was just a great experience overall. Uh, I actually went to see the movie the same day it came out. I watched all of the movies probably maybe a week or two before the Fast 10 movie actually came out in theaters, so it was really cool to be able to experience all that together and appreciate the franchise. So for starters, like I originally said, um, this beat was made just for Tron, so it was more of a fast tempo. Uh, we usually like to go in with samples, and I grabbed this one. Real smooth, real jazzy. Um, it was a really fast BPM. That's a 266 in my type of time that I like. I brought it down, chopped up a couple sections, Make sure when you're sampling that you put it on the right BPM, of course, and then you make it stretch mode, so that way you can manipulate the BPM how you want. Uh, it was in D minor. I like the way D minor sound, but I still push it up two cents for a different sound, and uh, this is how it came about. First things first that I'm sure I started out with was the 808. Um, pretty simple pattern. Uh, I, usually with these beats for Tron, I like to create a, a little bit of variation with the 808s and allow them to come in randomly at times, but also have some space in between. So this is the 808 for that. And from there, I went on to the snare. Then from there, I went to the craziest two-step hi-hat pattern. Like insane. And then from there, I threw in a, a couple extra, uh, I like to call it ear candy, just a couple different things to fill up the beat. So I threw in these perks. Also adds a, a little more bounce to it as well. And we got our open hat. Kind of added those open hats where there's a little bit of room of the for the 808. And a little further down into the verse, I added on this bell. And then a clap. Just a little more ear candy for you. And 
this is how all the drums sound together. I think when you're flipping samples or especially doing beats that are of this tempo, you don't really need to do too much with the drums. If the sample is busy, then kind of keep the drums a little simple and then vice versa. If you've got a simple melody or a simple sample, you can kind of have a little fun with the drums. And this is how the full beat sounds. Once you're tracking out your beats and you have your name, your BPM or key, etc., um, add your social media tag as well. I think it's a easier way for artists or a rs or engineers or whoever's involved, it's, especially if you're sending beats out over email, it's an easy way for them to get in contact with you rather than they might lose your email through all of that. They made this song months ago and can't find it. Um, I think that's an easy way, speaking from experience too, that if you have your ad name, it's an easy DM and we can go from there. If you aren't registering your publishing, um, you're missing out on a lot of the revenue that you were to receive from streams, uh, live performances, radio play, et cetera. Of course, continue to work on your craft and take the time to get better every day, but also take the time to learn the business as well. Everybody isn't gonna advocate for your business being handled or do the right thing to make sure your business is done the right way. So I think it's important for you to at least know what's going on and also have a, a group of guys that's willing to support you through this process. I think the biggest thing with B-Stars Publishing is that I've been able to have some support when it comes to handling the business. And so I've been working with the B-Stars platform selling beats since about 2018. And when I found out that they had a publishing uh, company started up that was catered to producers and supporting us while we continue to focus on creating, um, I thought it was a perfect fit. Also, after meeting a couple of people at the company and learning more about how certain things work, um, it felt like a more comfortable space to be a part of. Appreciate everybody for watching. A big shout out to B-Stars for making this happen. You can follow me on social media at Marku and stay tuned. A lot of big things on the way.